Hello everybody and welcome to the Wingnut Streaming Guide on how to set up OBS to stream on Twitch. Now today we're going to talk webcams, DSLRs, um, however you want to get your face on the screen. <clears throat> Sorry, my <clears throat> little bit of a cold. Uh, so today it is all about getting your face on the screen. Um, Simplest and easiest way of all is webcam. So you're just going to go under your sources tab, add video capture device. I already have all my stuff in, but I will show you how to do it from scratch. So create new, name it whatever you want. And I am going to choose my Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000 because that is my webcam. It is a $30 webcam. It's enough. I just, I was tight on money when I bought a webcam. But anyway, that's what I got. And here I am. Uh, as you can notice, my lighting sucks. But we continue anyway. Uh, you can deactivate, activate. Sometimes, sometimes if your uh, webcam is bugging out on you, you can deactivate, reactivate. Uh, you can deactivate it and then like go in here and like click off of it, click back onto it, activate and it'll work again. Um, <clears throat> so the standard resolution for my camera, uh, on the box said it was 720. Uh, oh shit. On the box said it was 720. Um, it's not shooting it. It doesn't pick up in 720. So uh, I already made all my overlays for uh, 16 by 9. I didn't want to remake them. So you can go under your device def or resolution FPS type. You can go custom. And then, if I remember right, you just click 720 and it automatically recrops you into your desired resolution. Uh, the majority of the rest of this, you're not going to touch, uh, cause I mean, changing like video format, color space, color range, that's, and your buffering, it, it, just leave that alone. You don't need to play with it. And, uh, hit okay. And bam, you have your webcam. You are on the screen. Uh, what you can do from there is if you hold, I believe it's alt, you can grab the edge and crop it in however you want. Um, like I said, I prefer having it in 16 by 9, so I leave it alone. Uh, so it's that simple to get your webcam on screen. Now, to get a DSLR, uh, I'm going to remove this. And I am using a program called SparkoCam. Now, I tested this before going live. Uh, and for some reason, it still picks up on my other monitor. I don't know how to make it go over here. So we'll drag this over first. I have the free version. Um, and all that really means is it's going to watermark the video. So... I'll, I'll go over that. Um, so you just go try. It's going to pop up with that every time you open it. Just, I mean, it's, it's how it is. And my camera, I think, went to sleep. Yes, it did. So over here, uh, this is the Sparkle Cam software. Uh, as you can see, this sparklesoft.com watermark will be on screen at all times. Uh, the way to get around that is if you are able to have your camera just physically far enough away from you that everything you want is below that and is able to shoot clearly... Uh, that's really all you need. And I'll show you how to deal with that in OBS in a sec. Uh, 
I, I've tried playing with all these settings. Uh, most of them seem to do nothing, unless maybe you're using the software to control taking pictures. Um, you can uh, have it so that you can autofocus specifically trying to like hit your face with it. Now, using it off of the focusing rectangle uh, works good for me where my camera's positioned because it's more or less squared up with how I sit. Even though I look a little to the right, uh, I am squared body position to the camera. So when I lean back in my chair, uh, it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm still within this focus rectangle. <clears throat> Um, I've never actually ran the software long enough to know what that does every 25 minutes. So I'm going to shut that off for now. Uh, if you have the patience to test that, give her. Uh, I don't have the patience right now, so we will pull that off screen. And we will now show you how to put it into OBS. So again, add a video capture device. And we can say Sparko, again, name it or whatever you want. Uh, now, remember that focusing rectangle I said? It's still right here. So is that watermark up top. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have that focus rectangle off and boom, it's gone. Um, I have, I believe, I, I, I honestly don't remember what the exact specs of this camera is. However, I am going to try and uh, force it into 1080p, try and force it to uh, grab whatever its highest frame rate it can do is. Uh, and then as far as the rest of the settings, uh, I'm good to go off that. Um, when I have my webcam on, I actually do a uh, transform flip horizontal because I like it to actually look like I'm looking in a mirror so that when I'm pointing to things on screen, yeah, I can coordinate it better. It's not like I'm pointing over here to aim at something that's over there. Uh, like trying to say, this is my laundry mess. It's always on stream. I, I never clean that shit up. Um, so how to deal with the watermark, uh, as I showed you in that first clip on the, or the first bit about the webcam, you are going to hold alt and you are going to crop that shit out because buck sparkle cam and wanting money for the software that works perfectly fine without paying for it. And they give it to you for free. So, take advantage. I mean, not not everybody's got the money. Uh, it's like 60, I mean, it's not like it's expensive. It's like 60 bucks a year for a license uh, to get all the updates. Um, so, I, I mean, if you're using the paid software, it this could everything I'm showing you might be invalid. Uh, it could be a completely different looking program. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to buy it. But that's how you get a DSLR on screen. Uh, another way you can do it. I don't have the cables to show you that it works, but I do actually have a capture card in my computer, so I can tell you that you would go add video capture device uh whatever it doesn't matter what that says uh i would select my capture card and if i had my um you can do the av out on your camera to pick up on your uh, as a video capture item on your capture card. Uh, that'll work whether you uh, one of the ones that's in your computer or a USB one, it doesn't matter. Um, they all work more or less the same. It's just how well they work. 
uh, the frame rates they allow you to do and the resolutions they allow you to do. Uh, but that is, that's basically it. I mean, I can now take this and size it any way I want, you know, put it anywhere I want on the screen. Uh, if I had a green screen, uh, and this show, or this works the same way, whether it's the DSLR or a webcam, because you are doing the green screen in OBS. So you're going to right click, and I believe it's under filters. Yeah, so filters, effect filters, add chroma key. And I think if you hit custom, you can pick screen color and I can like say click the paint on the wall. And there's something to do with, you know, sliding the similarity until it's, um, until you get your desired effect. I don't have a green screen. I don't have consistent colors behind me. So trying to set up a green screen for me is just not in the cards. Uh, that is something for me down the road. Some people interact with the fact that I have a bunch of laundry on my couch. So we laugh about that on stream. I mean, I don't care. I don't care that if I move my chair, you can see my bed. And it's never fucking made. These are things that don't bother me. If they bother you, a green screen might be a great idea. Or just clean your house. Um, that's, I mean, a green screen is less effort in the long run. Because then you don't have to clean it and keep anything clean behind it. But that's up to you. That's today's episode on how to set up OBS for streaming. Hope you enjoy it. Um, if this helps you, please subscribe, like. I'm going to be putting out more videos. We're going to probably go over how to actually capture stuff, uh, like your games and all and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and we will continue on in the next video. I, I'm just kind of doing this as a uh, a one take just I don't know. These videos will be what they are. And uh yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.